Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. I quickly want to show you how to use my drum rack and impulse drum tuner patches for Mac for Life or Ableton Live, um, uh, like I'm doing with the drum sensor from Sensory Percussion in this tune. So um, it's really quick and easy to set up. It's just MIDI being transposed and once you've created a preset you can store it in your user library and just drag and drop it whenever you need it. Okay, first you need to make sure that the MIDI from your sensory percussion sensor is being sent to Ableton. So if you go into the audio device settings you need to use the IAC driver bus you need to create one in your audio MIDI, audio MIDI settings on, on a Mac or you need um, other software on a Windows machine. So you need to route MIDI virtually from one software to another. So in uh, Ableton I have to activate the input, the track input for my incoming MIDI. So now I can just use my drum rack tuner and um, it works pretty easy, you have to turn it on or you can leave the MIDI through if you don't want to use it. Turn it on and then you will have a window where you can see what, what MIDI note is coming in. So just to give you a little example. So you will see the different MIDI notes which are coming in and now you can uh, change um, these MIDI notes easily transpose them to the certain uh, fields of a drum rack of a drum rack of a drum rack. So, <clears throat> for example, if I want to change the head to let's say uh, it's on the kick already because it's a C1. Let's uh, get the rim playing a kick drum. And now the ring tip is a uh, it's transposed to a C1. I can reset my whole uh, settings here, or I can just drag and drop if uh, if I want to keep them. I just can keep them here and call them whatever I want. And then when I uh, need this drum tuner preset on another in another Ableton set I can just uh, quickly drag and drop it into this set. Okay the same on the impulse tuner which is um, really interesting for um, drummers because it's really accessible so if you pick uh, any impulse you can see that um, you have really nice um, parameters for every um, for every field. This is stuff you can do obviously as well in the drum rack, but uh, in an impulse, it's uh, already set to or already um, made really accessible, so the velocity can change the transpose, for example, or the stretch or the filter amount and the pan for example. So same here as well, turn your patch on and then if you want to set um, a certain um, field or pad or um, playing from your drum, you can just train this one to the different fields. And now I have these different uh, things set. Same here again, I can save them as a preset, um, sensory preset, um, drum tuner, impulse, and then just uh, drag and drop it into my user library. And then I can recall it every time I need it. Um, for another Ableton live set.